Tachane, alai machane, lo yira libi. Im takum alai milchama, bezot ani voteach. Should I encounter an army, my heart would have no fear. If war rose up to consume me, I would have trust. I prepared to give a teaching on this verse, I couldn't stop thinking about physical wars and that I had no experience fighting in one. But Devorah does, and I asked her to tell you the following story. of 2008, I was deployed to Balad, a military base in Iraq, just north of Baghdad. The job required me to drive along the perimeter of the base, probably around 10 miles each way. Though the fence was tall and heavily barbed wired, I could see through it, and during my daytime expeditions, I would watch the Iraqi farmers and herders in the fields. Sometimes children chased the sheep and goats and waved at me as I passed through quickly in a cloud of dust. I tried to avoid the drive at night, though, as the road was not lit, and I worried that, were my truck to break down, it would be a long and scary walk back to civilization. One night, though, the trip was unavoidable. It was about midnight when I set out into the darkness, and turned onto the perimeter road. I don't know much about astronomy or the moon, but that night it was brighter than any night I have ever witnessed, even to this day. The moon cast an eerie glow on the desert floor, and as I drove, I realized that for the first time, I could see into the field on the other side of the fence at night. I made out the palm grove in the distance, and sheep in a herd close by. A figure, taller, stood near them, perhaps ensuring they were safe from nighttime predators. Looking out into the expanse of shadows, I was overcome by an intense feeling of vulnerability, more intense than I had ever experienced before in my life. There was nothing protecting me from any kind of attack, any kind of mortar or gun aimed in my direction. My headlights bounced off of the rough road, and the bright moon reflected on the white hood of my truck, causing my heart to beat rapidly as I realized that I was a lit target on this barren, long, open stretch of road. I pray a lot these days. But at the time, I was a bit out of practice. I remember gripping the steering wheel and thinking of my children back home in Georgia. My youngest was not even a year old yet, 
and I had not seen them for about four months. My throat felt dry and tight, but I managed to say out loud, Dear God, they need their mom. I promise tonight is not my time. Finally, I reached the end of the road and my destination. Normally, I would make my rounds and return to my sleeping quarters the same night, but there was no way I was going to endure that drive on that perimeter road again that night. So I found a quiet spot in the corner of a building and slept on the floor until it was light enough outside to make the return. Driving back in the daylight, the journey seemed benign. I felt a little silly about how scared I had been the night before. The sheep in the field and the grove of palm trees no longer loomed in darkness and uncertainty, but instead seemed simple and familiar. Men walked with the herd with no aggression in their eyes, only sleepiness and the early morning light. It was the absolute and complete realization of vulnerability that had overcome me. In total darkness, there is a loss of orientation, but no shadows, no sense of being seen, and thus no real perception of exposure. It was only when I was illuminated in the darkness, and the darkness around me was illuminated as well, when I could see into the crooks and crannies of the unknown, the unfamiliar, and know that it could see me as well, that the fear struck me and I called out to God. place inside of you where you can touch your trust and be safe.